everyone brian here from pnw vintage outdoors well it's been a very long time since i've posted anything full length on this channel uh, and there's been a lot of things that have happened <laughs> um if any of you follow my other channel three guys outside obviously you know that i'm living in the high desert now and um that that was kind of something that came up Oh, I would say about six months ago now. Uh, we're in December, and this came up in June. Um, this year has been very, very difficult uh, for me personally. Not so much from the start, but from about April onward, uh, it's been a very difficult year. And, um, you know, some of you may or may not know what's been going on. I think I've maintained contact with a lot of what I would consider to be my closest friends uh, on YouTube and in the fishing community. <clears throat> and um, a lot of stuff's been happening. And so, for those of you that don't know, uh, in April, my dad passed away. And it was very sudden and unexpected, but he had had a lot of um, health issues, mainly cancer. Cancer was the big one that, that got him. And, um, but... We kind of thought everything was going to be okay with them, but it, apparently it wasn't. And uh, I think I think he just got tired, and um, he had complications with his last surgery, and he wasn't healing. Even though the doctors were like, "Yeah, you're cancer free. You don't have anything else." I think uh, complications from his last surgery to remove a uh, tumor that was sarcoma uh, that 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 did it. So um, I I fully sympathize with anybody that's ever had somebody with cancer in their family. You know, I don't say, Oh, well, that's too bad. It, it's, it's truly a terrible disease. And, and I, I don't know, you know, if there's anything, any of the doctors could have done to, to save him at that point, but he passed away. And <clears throat> so I kind of stopped doing all my YouTube videos and recording and stuff like that. I just didn't, have the honestly the time because of helping with the estate and taking care of all the other stuff and um you know just dealing with all of that and so that that really slowed down youtube quite a bit and then uh i had every intention to get back into making youtube videos and um you know work was busy at that point and um just dealing with a lot of other personal life things as well that that really everything just piled up and and it just kept com compounding on us and if you know from three guys outside you'll notice that uh king and toby mostly king calls me papa and calls my wife nana and they're our grandkids a lot of people say oh nice nice kid good job dad and uh they're they're not my kids per se is like direct children they're they're my grandchildren they're my wife and i's grandchildren and so um that that came about as a, a you know a pretty lengthy court battle and so there was a lot of stuff going on with that um and it wasn't because we wanted to have our grandkids to ourselves is because they were in a pretty bad situation which i never would have thought any of my kids would have ever been involved with, but it happens to the best of us. And as most of you know, I live in Oregon and most people know Oregon's very, um, I guess, I guess the political word would be progressive. And, and they passed a measure, um, called measure 110. And that was the legalization of, well, decriminalization of what we would consider to be the worst of the worst drugs, which basically, brought this onslaught flood of new narcotics uh, because there was no systems in place to take care of, you know, the people that uh, it was in originally intended to help, which were the pre-existing, you know, drug addicts. And so drug accessibility became very uh, easy for a lot of people. And if, if you take a pandemic, you take uh, self-esteem and you take drugs and you combine them all together um 
it, it's just inherent that you're going to have drug issues in, in your community and especially with young people and young people experiment a lot. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> unlike back in my day where experimenting maybe meant like going out and, you know, getting a case of beer and getting drunk with your friends or, you know, I guess somebody, you know, going and, and getting some, some weed or whatever else and, and getting high with their friends at the park or whatever. Uh, today's drug experimentation is a lot scarier, especially here with, with the uh, rise of fentanyl. And, and so fentanyl and methamphetamine uh, have really taken over. And I, I don't want to detract too much, but essentially we, we took the boys out of a situation that was pretty dire. And uh, it's, it wasn't our first time by far, but we decided this time that we weren't going to deal with the state of Oregon. And uh, we got an attorney and we got full custody of the kids through our own means. So that was a pretty lengthy thing as well. So the kids are ours. Uh, you know, we have custody of them and they live with us and, and all that. And in about June, uh, I asked my wife flat out because we were uh, up here in the mountains where I live now. I said, do we want to just see about moving over here? I, I saw that there was a job opening at the college and I thought I'd just put in for it. And so I ended up putting in for the job. And like three days later, I got a call for an interview. And five days later, I was in for an interview. And five days after that, I was offered the position. And uh, so I, I decided to accept the position and uh, left my job over in the valley. And we did a whole bunch of work on our house uh, over in the valley to get it ready to sell. We had a fantastic realtor. Uh, his name's Eduardo Reyes. He's got a YouTube channel too, where he talks about people that he helps out. And he's a fantastic realtor if you're ever looking for one. And we got together with Eduardo and he gave us all the information. He's like, hey, do some windows, do some paint, redo this old nasty bathroom and, and we'll get it on the market. And 10 days later, we had an offer on our house and uh, we came over here and Eduardo met us over here in uh, Central Oregon and we, we went and looked at like 30 houses in a day <laughs> and everything's very spread out here in the area we were looking. We, we didn't want to go to the city again. We were tired of living in high urban density and everything else. So we moved out here to the mountains uh, and I call them out. I call it the mountains. Some people are like, well, I don't think that's the mountains, but our house is at 4,200 feet above sea level. So I consider that to be the mountains. And so we, uh, we went through the whole thing of escrow and all that. And we uh, finally got closed in October and uh, moved out and uh, we have this uh, new house i'm out in my shop right now so no more garage videos uh i have a 20 by or a, not 20 30 by 40 shop uh it's a, a pole shop and it's fully insulated i got a little wood stove over here and obviously you see my stack of fishing rods i'm waiting to build myself a proper rod rack so that they're actually put away right but in the middle of moving and unpacking stuff and putting things away and all the other stuff that comes along with that, uh, you know, um, that's not been on top of my list, you know, when it comes down to setting up the actual house and having furniture and everything else. So, so it's been quite a uh, roller coaster from April till now, but uh, I do have to say thank you to all of my great YouTube friends that have stuck it out with the channel. And, um, oh, that was the other thing. I lost the ability to get on this channel for like three months. It was the most bizarre thing because I had backups and I had done dual uh, multi-factor authentication and everything else. So I thought, and I didn't. And so that caused some more issues as well. And uh, so it was it was uh, uh, quite lengthy. And then I went to subscribe to um, this guy, Half-Ass Off-Grid. Uh, because we're we're starting to do some uh, hobby farming here as well. Uh, we won't start till spring. Uh, you know, the mornings here, sometimes they get down to like two degrees, three degrees. Most of the days it's 12 or 13. So we didn't think it would be good to get animals and then build shelters because the ground's kind of permafrosted right now. So, um, you know, a little bit difficult to set posts for like pole structures and stuff. But um we, uh, I went to subscribe to his channel and all of a sudden, boom, I got access back to this channel. It's like one of the best days of 2024 I've had. So then I was like, I can get back, you know, get back into doing some of my other stuff. But I have the other channel, Three Guys Outside, and that's where I'm going to put all the family content. And so if you like watching the boys play around and do goofy stuff outside with me, then that that's an awesome channel. Go slide over there and hit the subscribe 
you know, but for the fishing content, obviously I'm not living in the same place anymore. So I don't have red, readily available sturgeon and steelhead and salmon anymore. Um, I live way up the Deschutes River. So the Deschutes River is only five minutes from my house. <laughs> kind of fun to say that. Uh, and then I have the Cascade Lakes where I live. And uh, they're the, the first couple, the North Twin, South Twin Lake and Wikiup Reservoir, they're uh, 15 minutes. There's snow on the road right now, so it takes me about 20, 25 minutes hitting all the ruts and 18-inch deep you know, ice and snow, but I, I still get up there. So you'll probably start seeing a lot more content from around my area here in uh, southern Deschutes County. And uh, so, but there's some fantastic fishing. There are some huge fish here. Uh, and and the trout fishing is absolutely epic. Um, Davis Lake is one that I want to get out on. It, uh, it's a fly fishing only lake, but it's got big, large mouth bass in there. And then, of course, Wikiup Reservoir has its plethora of bass and trout. Same with Crane Prairie. Uh, all of the high lakes are, uh, they have trout, you know, different trout species. The Deschutes River over here, uh, before they closed it down for the season, uh, brown trout like crazy. Uh, and so that's been kind of a fun adventure. Brown trout, whitefish, uh, getting kind of back to what I started with. So, but anyways, everybody, if you stuck through this entire video, I thank you very much. And, uh, you know, uh, Keep an eye out for new videos as they come along. I'm going to be posting more stuff up. Hopefully, I'm going to try to bank up some stuff here over the winter. Uh, ice fishing is on the agenda. Uh, so as long as we get enough cold, uh, I'm going to try to get out and do some ice fishing because uh, that's something that's <clears throat> really prevalent around here. So anyways, everybody, until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a wonderful day.